All right, fellow beer lovers, coming back at you from the Forbes estate in the greater Twin Cities of uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and in particular, the exurb of Rogers, Minnesota. Uh, you know, I, uh, those of you who have been following, I was in Montreal, Quebec, all of last week, checking out all of the uh, Canadian beers, the French Canadian beers, and man, were they good. And I'll tell you what is kind of cool. I got this really nice glass uh, from uh, from my favorite bartender, Guy, uh, over there at the uh, Rotisserie Saint Hubert. Uh, and uh, this is a Who Garden glass. A normal Who Garden glass, you know, they're I guess, what are the hex? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a hexagonal glass. It's a unique pint. Uh, this is actually, that's a half of a liter there. The thing is huge. I mean, you have to see it in person to really appreciate it. It feels like you're holding a bucket, although made out of glass. Uh, the normal Hoo Garden glass looks like this, but it's probably uh, two-thirds of this size. And I actually have one of those around the bend, but I won't take any time to show you that. Um, as you may know, Who Garden is actually a, a uh, it's a Dutch um, uh, wit beer or, or a white wheat beer. Um, but what I'm trying out today in this glass actually is not a wheat beer, it's Surly's Coffee Bender. One of my favorite beers and definitely my favorite recipe that uh, Surly makes. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read it to you because they're, as their name suggests, they they've got some attitude and uh, you know a lot of the a lot of the beer the a lot of the micros have a lot of interesting and funny, even uh, lippy stuff on the on the on the side of the can or on the on the box. I'm going to read it to you. It says, "It's never too early to get Surly, aromatic." As a bag of fresh roasted beans, Coffee Bender refreshes like an iced coffee and satisfies like your favorite beer. Utilizing the latest technology, the Surly Brew team has developed a cold extraction process that results in intense coffee aromatics and flavor, bringing together two of our favorite beverages. Your only dilemma will be whether to finish your day or start it with a coffee bender. I'll tell you what, I'm not a morning beer drinker. But if I was, I'd be drinking this for breakfast. Anyway, uh, what is it? it must be about 6.15 here in Minneapolis. And uh, it's a good time for me to have my first beer of the evening. Nice and brown, dark brown. Smells exactly like fresh, fresh ground coffee beans. It's good stuff. You know, I'm not even sure what kind of beer it is. You know, if it's a stout or a porter or a, or if it's a. Um, it doesn't really taste like a stout. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what, there's so much coffee in here, you know, this, this could be a brown ale. Yeah, coffee bender, it's brown ale with coffee added. So, there's so much coffee in here, you can't taste anything else, uh, but I'll try. Well, you know, it's a, it's a malty beer. It's, um, you know, the what's nice about about uh, this kind of a flavored beer is that the coffee, the flavor of the coffee, is it complements and is complemented by the uh, the malt, uh, the extra malt that that you have in a brown ale. It would it would equally go well uh, in a uh, in a stout or a porter, 
or a red or an amber. Tell you what, at 13 bucks for a four pack, it better be good. And I got friends that that like uh, Surly's Bender, not the coffee bender, but just Surly's Bender or Surly's Furious, which is a, a, a hopped up beer. And some of the other ones, you know, Axe, I think Axe Man or something like that. It's a really expensive one. And personally, I don't go and buy any of those. Um, just because as expensive as they are, they better be a favorite. And, uh, this one is, I actually, I stock this one at home, uh, quite often because I like it. And the other stuff, uh, I don't need to be spending $13 on a four pack when I can be, uh, stocking other, uh, favorites, whether they're expensive or not. We've got some that are really expensive, like the banana bread, um, the banana bread beer is very expensive. Uh, and then I've got other ones that are, are not particularly expensive, like the like the horny goat peanut butter uh, porter. So um, anyway, um, I highly recommend that if you haven't tried Surly's Coffee Bender yet, that you get, get yourself a four pack. Uh, or if you don't want to spend that much, uh, go half seas with a buddy and you can each have two. Cheers!